Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia and today I'm going to show you real quickly how you can use the EXS24 sampler in Logic Pro 9 to quickly and easily play back uh, recorded or sampled sounds that you've got on your hard drive. I had somebody ask about this recently and I thought I'd do a quick video tutorial on it. So uh, I have Logic open of course and I'm going to add a new track. I'm just going to add one software instrument track and the next thing that I want to do is I want to instantiate the EXS24 sampler on this instrument track. So under the In Out section, I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to select EXS24 sampler, and I'm going to choose Stereo. So now the sampler is opened up. Sometimes a preset will open in this little window right here, and it'll, uh, it'll have a name of, of one of the many presets that come with the EXS24. If that happens, you can just click here and select No Instrument, because we want to start with a clean preset with no sounds loaded up. So now that I've done that, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. So I'll scroll in a little bit here to show it to you. I'm going to click on Edit, and now what I've got is the EXS24 Instrument Editor. The instrument editor is where I can drag and drop sounds that I want to be played back uh, by the EXS24 as a sampled instrument. So the next thing that I need is I need to import a file, an audio file, that I can drag and drop into the uh, sampler. So I'm going to open up my media bin. And uh, if I look in the bin, it, it's open because I'm using a new project right now. So all that I need to do is click on audio file right here and select add audio file. So now I just need to browse on my hard drive to find a sound. I've already got some acid sounds opened up, so I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I can audition this. That sounds good. That'll work for what I want to do, so I'm going to add it, and I'm going to click Done, and now it's been imported. So now all I need to do is drag and drop this on t into my uh, EXS24 instrument editor. So I'll drag it, drop it right here, and you'll notice now it's in the list. It's uh, listed under Zone 1. It tells me the audio file name right here. And the most important thing I need to select here is under Playback, I need to have Pitch selected. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that depending on the note that I pl play, the key that I play either on my MIDI keyboard or on the virtual keyboard that's uh, included in Logic, which you can bring up by holding down the caps lock key, what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that the sound is pitched up or down depending on the key that I play. So if I just play on the virtual keyboard here, I can hear that now that sound is being played back based on the key that I select. So that's exactly what I need. Um, and so now all I need to do is go ahead and save this. I can either click on Instrument and then click Save. I can also just close the uh, Instrument Editor and, and Logic will automatically ask me if I want to save this. I'm going to go ahead and just click Save. So I'll select Instrument, click Save, and now it's going to ask me if I want to save this sampler instrument. Of course I do, so I'll just call this Acid. Save it. Now that I've saved it, all I need to do is go and close up the instrument editor, and now I'm back into the EXS24 editor. Now all I need to do is go ahead and I can create an empty MIDI region, and using the pencil tool I can just enter some notes real quickly. And now, any MIDI that I play back is going to immediately play the sound that I've loaded up into the EXS24. So, obviously, that's not the world's greatest dance beat right there, but it does show you what it is that I'm able to do uh, using the EXS24. Now, I can also get a lot more in-depth now with my sound design, which is also very cool. I can use the cutoff controls the drive, the resonance, I have access to transposition uh, for the sound, and a lot of the other controls that the EXS24 is capable of. And uh, this will also allow me to add pitching, gliding to the note, and uh, also to change the LFO settings for this sound. So I can get a lot more in-depth with the sound design and make my own sound, but this is a quick and easy way to use the sampler and be able to create your own sounds from any sampled sound that you've recorded and uh, imported onto your, uh, your Logic project. I hope that this helps you guys, and if you have questions, as always, please get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com or leave me a comment here on our YouTube page. Thanks a lot, and take care.